This is CMA Berkeley video series. Today we are going to discuss unit 5 of CMA part 2. Unit name is financial instruments and cost of capital. Broadly we are going to discuss these uh, major topics. We will start our discussion from bonds. Then we will shift to equity and then we will discuss the derivatives uh, and uh, other sources of long term finance and uh, cost of capital current and uh, the new broadly we are going to discuss uh, these topics but let me just give you a clear idea where, where we are going to what we are going to discuss we will start our discussion from the bonds generally every investor in, is looking for every business is looking for the investments investments can achieve from two ways either you sell your equity uh, your ownership to the uh, to the public through issuing of stocks uh, of varying kinds. The other thing is you take a liability and you uh, issue the bond, uh, bonds uh, or you took loans from the banks. This is your choice how you want to design your capital structure. But today in today's lecture we will discuss the bonds. What are the bonds? What is short term bond? What is long term bond? Then we will discuss the valuation of the bonds and uh, the advantage and disadvantages uh, for issuing bonds. In the next portion we will discuss the uh, equity financing board. We can issue the common stock, we can issue the preference stock. Common stock is a stock which is uh, also called as ordinary stock which is uh, easily available for buying and selling which has no fixed dividends uh, generally these kind of shareholder has a voting right with them and opposite to this we have a preference shareholders these shareholders are those shareholders which has a fixed commitment with the, with the company in terms of their dividends that this is a kind of fixed liability for the company to pay the dividends either they have profit or uh, they don't have profit and it has certain types in terms of accumulated preference stock or non-accumulated preference stock generally preference stocks are treated and given a prefer preferential uh, treatment and it has its own advantage and disadvantages then we will discuss the derivatives financial derivatives we will discuss the future options call option put option uh, in detail what are the impacts of uh, and which conditions the company should go for a call option or a put option in the last we are going to discuss the cost of capital that what uh, what is the model to calculate we have retained earning we have preference stock we have common stock so how to uh, bring it in in a workable structure which which optimize the shareholder wealth so we will start our discussion from the bonds we will discuss here the we can see here a graph which is showing different behavior of the bonds and uh, it's on one side it is uh, it's showing the maturity and on this side it's showing to it's going to show the interest rates now if you see the these are labeled as one two three and four uh, this is upward slopes one this is stately flat curve this is downward slopes like uh, the showing the inverse relation between interest rates and the year to maturity and what is the behavior we can label it as like this the curve first is upward sloping the second curve is flat third curve is downward sloping toward like the demand curve showing inverse relation in the first one it's showing a direct relation as the interest rates uh, will increase with the as we will increase the number of years as a maturity and the uh, four is humped one uh, before issuing the uh, the bonds for either for a short term or for a long term we have to keep this four consideration in the mind one is the text structure of uh, the each bond default risk callability and the sinking fund requirements for issuing the bonds the bond bond is a formal obligation and uh, it's a commitment uh, to pay a fixed rate of return 
has compensation to hold this bond. It's not easy to go for a bond issuance because it is a more legal requirement cost is involved but certainly it has benefit because once you go for an equity issuance it is subject to a huge tax. We will discuss the common stock. Common stock is issued by a company which is uh, which can which is traded in the stock exchange. It's easy to buy and sell. There is no formal commitment for the dividends, and the holder of the common stock has a voting uh, right with uh, him. Generally, equity owner involves risk because they are not being guaranteed for any fixed kind of uh, dividend in comparison with the preference stock that you don't have any fixed liability if you don't have profits in that year so no need to worry about the situation uh, because uh, you can pay the dividends uh, out of the profit only as per law and then Com the sale of common stock increase the credit worthiness of the company more you you are being traded uh, in the stock exchange means you are more uh, uh, more healthier you consider more circulated and it appreciate your price uh, very much and it attracts the investor focus then cash dividends on common stock are not uh, tax deductible so must be paid out of uh, after tax uh, profits then uh, controllability is there you have a voting right you can uh, select your boards and your directors and uh, it will be uh, helping you in gaining the position strategic position of the company itself Preemptive rights are always given to the shareholder when any issuance will come they are given the right to purchase the existing uh, they, are, they will be given the first right to purchase the new addition of the capital. Now we will discuss the voting right and the power value and uh, we can see here as a corporation owner the shareholder voting right is very important. They can select the board of directors and they can vote on the resolutions as well. Then a stock par value represent the legal cost of the capital and it is an arbitrary value. Preference stock is a hybrid of the debts and the equity. Why it is a hybrid of debt? Because the company has fixed liability. So certain school of thought don't consider it as a pure form of equity. They consider it as the uh, the in between debts and equity that's why when we calculate the diluted eps we exclude the preference stock out of that calculation in period of economic difficulty accumulated unpaid dividends which is suppose in 2010 you don't have the profits and uh, so these dividend will accrue, accrue and will shift uh, to the next year so next year you have accumulated dividends to give which can create a stress for your company uh, in general typical provisions of the preference stock issues we should keep in mind priority in assets and earning then we should keep accumulation of dividends then we should see that it is uh, convertible means uh, convertible preferred stock and participatory what is the power value redeemability can we redeem it and uh, voting rights we have to see callability and the maturity period assigned to that stocks hedging is a technique to gain to save yourself for an unexpected fluctuation uh, of uh, either currency rates or the uh, on the interest rate so uh, we can have hedging for the interest rates in order to protect ourselves from the future unexpected fluctuation same we can do with the currency exchange as well then we can have the long hedge we have the short hedge based on our requirements we can decide that uh, which hedging we have to go for it there are three types uh, commonly used one is the interest rate swaps these are uh, agreement to exchange interest payments based on one in interest structure for the payment based on another structure then we have currency swaps 
we uh, swap for uh, one currency against another currency to exchange cash flow uh, dominant, dominated in one currency for the cash flow dominated in another kind of currency. Credit default swaps are agreements uh, where one of the party indemnifies the other against default of a third party. Uh, there are certain other ways for the long-term financing uh, and lease is one of the most popular methods and it's a contractual obligation in which the uh, there are two types of lease so we have operating lease we have financing lease in the operating lease the ownership will not transfer to the uh, in the name of uh, the buyer it, uh, and he will uh, treat it as a monthly rental and in, operate, uh, in financing uh, in finance lease uh, the asset will be considered as uh, uh, with the owner as who is using them then convertible securities are debt or the preference stock securities that have a provision to convert them later into another form of instrument.